so hello guys so in this video i'll be showing you how to control your raspberry pi using bluetooth and use the gpio pins so first i'm going to log in into my raspberry pi using the remote desktop connection and i know the ip address of your raspberry pi and xrdp has been installed on my end so if you want to know how to do it you can check out my previous video and then type your login id and password and so as you can see i've I've logged into my Raspberry Pi and so uh, to use the Bluetooth using the Python script we have to install some libraries so type these commands sudo app slash get install Bluetooth Blue man, blue eyes. And then when you get this message, do you want to continue? Just hit Y and enter. So as you can see the library is and then type this command pip install pi bluers and as you can see the pi bluers library has been installed on my pi and then go to the programming section and open the thorny python ideally app and the code has been given in the description below you can go to the google drive link and download these and so what this code basically does is that in the first three lines we import the libraries and before executing this check if you have a check if you have installed the gpio library so for this type this command sudo app get install python Space slash rpi dot gpio and then hit enter So as you can see, the Python, the GPIO library has been installed on my Raspberry Pi. And so after importing this two li the, the two important libraries, we have to set the GPIO warnings to false so that we, uh, we don't get any errors. And then the, the GPIO was uh, then we have to set the GPIO numbering scheme that we have used. 
So in this case, I've used the physical board scheme. And this is to declare the pin 16 and 12 as output pins and as low when declared output. And these are the two variables that we will use for uh, like storing the value for our LED and buzzer to be on or off. And then this code you see here is to make the Bluetooth socket and then listen for the client to connect and then here here is our while loop and so in this line we are, we are declaring this variable data as the information received by the bluetooth server and this you see the, and this if condition is for like um, when the client sends a message called quit then it breaks the while loop and this uh, and the line of code which I have written here gets executed which means that the bluetooth sockets uh, socket gets closed and and in this case we have program we have programmed for the LED and the buzzer and so if the else uh, else if the data is bytes L then it increases the value of variable A by 1 and then in this if condition if the the value of A is 1 then it it turns the the GPIO 12 high which is our LED pin and then uh, and then if it adds again the variable a turns 2 and this if condition changes the variable back to 0 and when it is 0 it sets the tw uh, pin 12 to 0 which means the LED is turned off and the same thing for the buzzer and then click on Bluetooth and then click on turn on Bluetooth and then click on make discoverable and as you can see I am on my phone now so just open the play store and then search for an app called Pi3 Bluetooth Manager and then just install this app And then click on open and then first you have to pair with your Raspberry Pi and at this point make sure that your Raspberry Pi is in discoverable mode and then click on your Raspberry Pi And then click on pair and then accept the pairing request on the raspberry pi and as you can see i have connected my raspberry pi to the phone and now just click on run And this shows that it's running. And then open the app in your phone and then connect with your Raspberry Pi. And so, as you can see, we have got connection. And then send the letter L. and the light has turned on
and then if you send the letter L again the light turns off and then if you send the letter B the buzzer is on and if you send B again the buzzer is off and the, and here it's showing all the information or data received by the raspberry pi and i hope you find this tutorial helpful and don't forget to like share and subscribe